Welcome back. We have just um, gone to the final age, which, as we could see through the bubble, is what well, looks like a tropical resort, basically. Looks quite nice, really. The only thing I don't like is Escher. <laughs> anyway, let's see what he has to say. I wish you could see Lucky Island as I remember it. Anticipation. The calls of the beasts bellowing out over the warm airs. And conversations. As we waited for the fires to burn. The battle to begin. This was a place of great strength and triumph. I wonder if you possess such courage. The door to the trade house is locked, but the jeweler door on the other side, that can be unlocked. Okay, so it seems this age is called uh, Lakian, and was apparently used to hold some kind of battle, apparently involving beasts of some kind. I hope we won't have to battle any beasts. And this place is apparently a trading house. What would they be trading in? Well, maybe these uh, jewels that we can see lying on the table there. But this door is locked. And Escher told us that we have to use the back door, which is on that one, I suppose. Oh, and there's a piece of paper lying there with some symbols on it. So we'd better write those down. It's a uh, diamond, and whatever this is, a triangle, a square, and then a circle. Better try and remember that. Well, I guess we had better explore this age. However, before we do that, um, I want to try some symbols we've already seen. Um, there is one uh, symbol I was written very young when here I with the time. shape of the slate Indeed, that we I have young, in this age. I thought I understood. I had many abilities even then, but little well, wisdom. If we uh, Better to have assume that the meaning of this symbol is written somewhere around it, I knew then I was that doing would mean that for us. this but one means uh, for me. Singing. I thought I was reuniting. It looks a little bit like the symbol for friendship. Well, let's try it. Let's see if I can get this right. That's close enough, I hope. Okay. And indeed it does cause them to sing. Barrows are not uh, the best singers I've ever heard. Although it's still better than most of the stuff that's in the charts these days. Man, I could feel myself aging about 30 years as I said that. Anyway. Um, another symbol we might try is the one from 
How this journal? I have not seen the true path. No. <laughs> um, which one was Power it? Power is a gift. Power is a curse. This one. Which I theorized I means the pain, resembles the snake symbol, or includes the snake symbol. It's not the right uh, slate for it, but it actually doesn't really matter uh, which slate you draw these on, it will always work. The snake symbol works here as well, for, for instance, as does the friendship symbol. Okay, let's see if that's good enough. No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. It's not important, so if it doesn't work, then uh, too bad. Indeed, it causes them pain when they touch it. And apparently you can use this as an alternative for the snake symbol in uh, Nolaban. But there's no reason to use it here. So, let's explore. I'm actually going to take the slate uh, with me this time. Which is something I don't usually do, but if I do it here, it'll save me some time. Doesn't look like there's anything back here, except for a little pond and some more palm trees. We can't go into the building, so let's go over here. Get to the beach. Actually, it looks like quite a nice uh, age again. Much like uh, Noloben, I wouldn't mind spending a vacation here. Tropical resort, like I said. That's what it resembles. So, let's uh, see what else we can find. That's a dead end, actually, if you go that way. You can sometimes see creatures in the water here. That's why I'm sort of keeping an eye on it, because I'm hoping that one will show up. Which, of course, they don't when I'm recording a video. Well... It's like waiting for Shroomy in, uh, in Celadon, back in Uru. Except this thing shows up a lot more often, so it really shouldn't take this long. Oh well. You can only see the fins anyway, it's not, not particularly interesting. Maybe we'll see them by uh, by accident at some other point. Can actually go around the outside here, but can also go in between these rocks and down here. We can see a bunch of skeletons. It's sort of reminiscent of the work skeletons, uh, the work skeleton that we saw in uh, the desert in Uru. And in fact, these are also fish. You can tell by the fact that there are no bones for legs or anything. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> That's a freaky looking thing. 
actually called a peer peer bird or whatever. Sometimes also referred to as a piranha chicken because that's what it looks like, cr crossing between a piranha and a chicken. They're shy though. They'll always run away when you try to get close. <laughs> Anyway, it seems that these uh, animals, these fish, were maybe lifted up with uh, this thing, which looks like the remains of a, a crane or pulley system. This, I suppose that this collar would be attached to them and they would lift them up over this wall or something like that. But we're nearly out of time, so I will continue in the next video.